Hi, Paul McFarland here again, and here's, I don't know, a prediction, a forecast, something I'm noticing and I'm taking the long view about. Commuters, cars, driving, cars that drive themselves, cars that park themselves. Where did it all begin? Well, the backup camera, where we're getting assistance automatically cars that can automatically parallel park. But the idea of automated cars that we don't have to control anymore, we see is very significant. In fact, my personal prediction is that in two years, we're going to see a different kind of traffic in rush hour. Whether they're going to be the car services, the taxi transportation companies or truly automated cars, we think more and more people are going to choose distraction over self-driving. In other words, most people for rush hour driving would rather look at Facebook, read a book, play a game, than drive and watch and stop and go and drive and watch and stop and go. And when given a choice that's affordable and easy, in fact, look at the benefits, your boss can say, hey, this is the way you're coming to work, knock out a report on the way in the back seat. But you can be delivered right to your office. You don't have to walk anywhere or park, pay for parking and have that to allow for. I really think a lot of people are gonna make a huge change and they're gonna choose the device and our current level of activity, distraction, and potential work over the right to self-drive. I'm not talking about weekend excursions or things like that. I mean the daily commute. So carpool lanes are going to grow. In two years, only one lane will be for self-drivers. Maybe sooner. What do you think? If you could play with your devices or with your book or put on your makeup or take a nap instead of having to pay attention to drive every day in rush hour traffic, what would that be worth to you? Or better yet, what would it mean to you?